Okay guys, I'm going to talk about ketosis and what I'm calling ketosis light. I can tell you that I, I have gone through a 30 day um, ketogenic diet stint and I learned a couple of really valuable lessons that I, I honestly I think that if you haven't tried it for more than two weeks you would never know this. So the first thing is is that People say you can get keto adapted or fat adapted in a week or even two weeks. There's, I, I don't think that that's true. I think that you think that you are. I think that what happens is, is your body runs out of sugar and it starts to utilize fat, but not, not as its primary fuel, but kind of as a backup. I think that it just does that to keep you going and that you're still not really fat adapted. And I think that it probably takes three to four weeks before your body is quote unquote fat adapted. There's no way you can tell that you're in ketosis, strictly in ketosis, unless you do like a breath test or these strips. And, and I use these strips religiously. This is 150 and I've gone through almost the whole thing. I use several times a day to check and see where I'm at. And I'll tell you what's happening actually. Um, what's happening for me is, is over the course of this last 30 days, <clears throat> I would get into ketosis, which if you register any color on these, you have ketones present in your in your urine, and that means you're a little in ketosis. It's just levels of how much in ketosis are, ketosis are you. But the problem is, is that every time you deplete your body of sugar and you start to use fat as energy, it's taxing. It makes you tired. It makes you feel kind of depressed a little, kind of tired, foggy brained, a lot of negative states come along with that, you get used to it and you start to actually feel okay. But what I think actually happens and happened in my case is, is that I would be fat adapted towards the end of the night. In the morning I was having my coffee and I'm putting artificial sweeteners in there, which kind of kick me out of ketosis a little bit. And there's a little bit of sugar enough that my body uses it. And you know, the foods, I don't have foods that are just completely void of carbohydrates. I have small carbohydrates. I'm getting anywhere 50 and less grams a day, but it's enough to be in my blood sugar and make me feel okay until I use it up. Now I'll go to the gym or I'll go walking or I'll go hiking. <clears throat> and whenever I use the blood sugar all the way up, I, I start feeling shitty. Now the quote unquote ketogenic flu, I experienced something early in my first week, couple of days to three, three or four days to a week that I thought was the ketogenic flu and it really wasn't because I think that I just recently experienced the real ketogenic flu. Um, I just felt shitty and crashed and felt tired and kind of sleepy. But yesterday actually was my 29th day and I had a very strict over this weekend, had a very strict low carb extremely strict so that I was registering a lot in my keto strips and Monday yesterday at work I was very 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 just like the flu like literally felt like I had the flu. I left work early I felt feverish I had cold sweats I was just wanted to go to bed and I did I came home and I went to bed and I stayed in bed and this morning I felt uh, kind of okay but I got up and I had my normal coffee which has artificial sweeteners that are trigger you out of ketosis and I felt better and I had a diet soda today which has phenylalanine or alanine um, another video on that and it made me feel better I do feel better your body is like where are your carbs okay it's starving for carbs because you've gone your whole life running off of carbs not off of fat we almost never hit fat storage where you, when you break that down, you start eating. It's almost never. That's that's what a diet is. A diet is where you use so little energy that it starts burning your fat as fuel. It's hard to do that. For an average person, you know, especially if you've got a little bit of fat deposits on your body like I do, it's hard to make your body focus on using it. You have to have a negative calorie deficit or an extremely efficient metabolism. And so your body is like, dude, you got a little bit of sugars. I feel great. You feel good. Those sugars made me feel good and I felt good today and I've felt good all day. I've had energy. I went to the gym tonight and I hit that wall where I'm completely out of sugars and I feel just kind of out of it again. The bottom line is this. You go into in and out of this half ketosis, half not ketosis. 
The only way, and this is the bottom line, the only way to be strict with your ketosis is to be ninja strict. Like you cannot, you got to do water and you have to use artificial sweeteners that are proven to keep you in ketosis. I'll do a video on that. I'm actually testing some right now. Um, and I'll do a video on which ones I know are proven to keep you in ketosis. So far, I think that it's just really going to be stevia, monk fruit, and erythritol. And, the, and there's a lot of strange ones, but they're not. These are the common ones. And why would you go any any lower than the top three? I think those are okay. Um, and I've done tests with other ones. Some stevias aren't really stevia. Some stevia products have some like rubania. They have stevia leaf extract. They have dextrose maltodextrin. Any of these things added in will kick you out of ketosis. So literally it needs to have one ingredient, stevia or, or and stevia and erythritol, and that's okay. But monk fruit, it can only be monk fruit. It can't be with fructose or with any other oats in there and you'll stay in ketosis. But anyways, I, I can't be that strict. Ketosis, ketogenic diet, it's so, so hard. Like, I can't tell you how hard it is. And I came in and out of it, in and out of it, and I definitely reaped benefits if you saw my 30-day video. But you have to be as strict as hell, and, and I just don't have that type of, I can't do it. I mean, I, I have a little bit of carbs, as simple as, as one banana, half a banana, and you've done too much for the day. It's just, it's, it's too hard. If you can do it, if you're the kind of person that can stay that strict, you need to monitor your liquid calories. That's where I found to be my worst flaw was liquid calories because of because of the artificial sweeteners. Maybe just water and teas, and then you sweeten it with your own sweetener. That, that's my best advice. Um, you need to drink a lot of water anyways. So the strict ketosis is very hard to obtain. You can do it, but it's extremely hard. You have to be as vigilant as hell. And I, I just, I don't have that kind of stamina and constitution. I did really good. I'm proud of myself for what I did for my month. Um, do the best that you can do. You know, I don't feel bad about it. I'm not down on myself. But would I do it again? Maybe. I, I might do it again. It'd be a short stint, but I'd, I'd be stricter this time so that I get in it, stay in it. Because coming in and out, in and out, just takes you on an emotional roller coaster. Your body goes, yay, you've got carbs. And it's like, oh, shit, you lost them again. And it gets mad and it rebels. And your body's smart. I mean, it, you're not fooling it. You have to be completely the master. You have to be like a Zen dedicated warrior to stay in ketosis. I mean, it's really hard. And if you use these strips, I recommend this, by the way. Um, I don't know if you can see it, if it's backwards or whatever, but it's called Ketone Script Nurse Hattie. 150 strips for a cheap, cheap price on Amazon. I, th I think it's great. Um, you, you're, you won't know. You don't know just by, I think I'm in ketosis, or I did pretty good on carbs. I don't care if you're using my fitness pal. I don't care what you're doing. If you don't pee and turn this thing darker than halfway, then you're 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 just you're screwing yourself, and you, and you think you're in ketosis. You think you're feeling good. You think you're adapted. You think that you're out of sugar, but you're not. This will tell you. So, good luck with your ketosis, true ketosis. If you stay in true ketosis, healing happens. You burn your fat. You're nothing but fat for energy. It's no longer using sugar. It's not even trying. It's just burning fat. That's where you really, really maximize your fat loss. If you can get it and stay in it, more power to you. Good luck.